This is Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm reporting. Uh, a couple days ago, the, the Obama administration decided to starve little children in America. Yes, the food stamp program was cut dramatically in order to give teachers, teacher unions, and public service employees a bone. They took the bone away from little children in the form of food stamps. 41 million people receive food stamps and they're going to be cut. Their, their allocation for food stamps will be cut in order to give 160,000 teachers and some municipal workers guaranteed jobs for next year. And this is going to be also bad for the balances of the budgets on these states because in order to receive that money the states have to agree to spend more money next year on education. At a time when class sizes should be shrunk and teacher loads should go up, in other words, there should be more students per classroom for each teacher in order to help save money. The federal government is actively taking money out of the mouths of little babies and children in order to give teacher unions their due. Now, this is bad because what it shows is that the Obama administration cares more about a voter and getting a voter and their constituent group behind them than small children who can't vote. Now maybe a child votes in 20 years or 10 years but they're not going to vote in the next election. So the Obama administration won't pander to them. So this is an exa another example, a blatant example, of the Obama administration paying, playing politics with little children and their health and their welfare. They talk the talk about wanting everybody to have health and welfare and you know be taken care of, but when it comes time to putting food on the table, they take it away. In fact, when it comes time to putting food on the table, Michelle Obama goes over to, to Spain with so-called 40 friends and 13 limousines and two helicopters and probably 400 marines stationed offshore to help rescue her if she runs into a problem. And then she tells us, well, she did it because one of her friends' father died. Now, blame it on a dead dog, for heaven's sake. Do people really believe the bullshit that they put out? Oh, my gosh, I just get so upset. But thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. This is the foliage of the Steed's Japanese Holly. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is a holly that is known for its great color. It will get about eight foot high, maybe four foot wide. So it can be used as a nice little hedge, a nice little green hedge. The one problem you might have in, in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York area is that it is susceptible to some deer damage. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs for you here at our nursery. Yep. And uh, it has that striking set of this foliage spring time. We're growing on a couple hundred acres here in Fountainville. And we also have a couple thousand acres in Milan, PA, in Bradford County near Tawanda or Elmira, New York. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. And again, this is the Steeds Holly I wanted to show you. And the foliage of the Steeds Holly. Now notice here the new growth is a little yellower and the older growth is darker green. That's typical. And when you have an older plant that uh, is a little more open and airy, and this is a, a more open and airy one. You can see some of the yellowing on the interior. That's typical of, of evergreens. They're getting ready to, this one's getting ready to flush. This one was outside during the winter months, and those were kept in a greenhouse. Both of them are in good shape, not a problem, but just to show you the differences and what you can expect to see in the hollies. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is a wintergreen boxwood. This, this video is just to show you the foliage of this wintergreen boxwood. You, if you can look carefully inside, you can see the darker foliage of the old growth and the lighter yellower growth of the new foliage. The new foliage will darken over. It's a nice idea to take the uh, foliage and trim them back slightly each year. It gets better airflow into the plant and makes for a hardier, healthier plant. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. 
We sell thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs. We specialize in a lot of deer resistant plants, and this is, of course, a great deer resistant plant. Green Mountain Boxwood likes sun but can take a little bit of shade, and it's very cold hardy. We do deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast for you. Our website is seedlingsrus.com. And our phone number is 215-651-8329. Here in Fountainville, we have a couple hundred acres, and we have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County near Milan, PA. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is a block of four-foot Leland cypresses. As you can see, the yardstick goes up to three feet, and then there's at least two feet on most of the tails of these cypresses. We've got about 500 of them in this block right here. You can come pick them up. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is a close-up of foliage of a Leland cypress. Leland cypress foliage is one of the nicest colors you can have in your landscape. It's considered to be a bluish green. And if you look at the stems, you can see the stems here that are being formed have a little bit of a purple cast to them. This is an actively growing plant. It's actively growing at this time of the year. And it's probably growing pretty near a half an inch a day. It's really pushing out some real rapid growth. These are growing rapidly because we have a drip water system on them. And you can see the drip lines down in there. And they're fed to different zones through a controller. And we can just turn one zone on. Or off. These are our three-foot Leland cypresses at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. We have some four-footers and five-footers here. We also sell them bald and burlapped. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We're approximately a mile and a half from Doylestown in Bucks County. And here's some more trees and shrubs and plants that we grow here at Highland Hill Farm. And down yonder you see a bunch of trees and shrubs. There's some beautiful roses here today. With these just nice colors, vivid color colors to them. Here's a beautiful orange colored rose. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville. This is our main office. We have a couple hundred acres here in Fountainville, and we have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County, Bucks County, Bradford County, Pennsylvania. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.